throat hurts from laughing so much. My head hurts. All right, guys, this is what we made today. Can you see that? Put your hand behind it. Come on, be a beauty girl. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at. I got your D on my. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> made lip scrubs. Okay, body and then yeah. we made body scrubs. I named mine Cherry Bomb. So proud and I'm so Can you see that? <laughs> Beep, no. Bella? Yeah. Are your eyes closed? No. Let's That's just move I this little piece of hair right there. Mason, chill out. Mason, chill out. Put your hands on me, bitch. I'm a fucking dog. <laughs> what did he do? You just. You just Can assaulted a future you? army soldier. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Richard? Dude, wasn't this in, um, what's that movie about the game? I don't know. <gasps> Breaks it? It's okay. It was my nail. There was an astronaut. Did you break it? I just oh. bit my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> that hurted. We've been recording for two minutes. Ready? You're gonna have fun editing. What are you gonna do with this recording? So I'm gonna edit it on iMovie. Cause I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> and I'm gonna post it on YouTube. That's y'all. Yep, long shot. <laughs> Monica! Oh, oh I can't zoom in right there. Noob. 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 Uh, oh, oh my god, oh, I can see in Monica's the flash in her eye <laughs> glasses. She looks like a demon. Damn. A demon? Whoa. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's ask questions. Like, deep questions. Hey guys, go subscribe to my YouTube channel down below in the description. <laughs> do the, do the, in the description? Go subscribe. Do the, <laughs> do the bow and a ponytail. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, what embarrasses you the most and or what's been your most embarrassing moment? Being in public with my family. Ow. <laughs> um, there was one time I was staying after well, I wasn't staying after school. My mom was late and like picking us up. It was like, my hey, sister, what's up everyone? My ex best friend. That is everything. <laughs> <laughs> me me, my sister and my ex best friend and then uh, my ex boyfriend yeah. who I was like obsessed with for like five years. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about that. Anyways, and I had to go pee really bad, but they wouldn't let us go back to the school. So I was like, or go back in the school. So like we were standing by like this ditch thingy. So I went in the ditch with my ex best friend, and she helped me squat, squat, pot and squat in front of my you mean um, Papa squat. Whatever he said, pot and squat. I love pop hair. and squat. I've never done my hair like this, but I come out, I'm kind of liking it. Okay. What, I feel like Emma Chamberlain. Shh, listen, what do you look <laughs> up to the most, and what qualities do you love about that person? Oh, who do you look up to the most? Uh, and what qualities do you love about that person? Well, um, I gotta say, I kind of look up to my madre, yeah, my mommy I look up to my dad. Ben, ben, ben. I look up to my mom, and I just like throughout everything she does. She does everything for her kids, and she's not selfish. My mom is the sweetest person on the world. What's your biggest? It's fucking spiders, dog. You send one of them. <laughs> Losing everybody I love. And spiders. Yes. And hides. I'm losing my mother. A lot of things. Like, I can make myself scared. I can make myself scared of a lot of things. Public speaking is one of them, too. I love how they. I'm living for this hairstyle right now. Right? It's beautiful. What's your all time favorite memory? When I called Monica my nicka. <laughs> the time with the kid at the house. <laughs> when you're on the bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just staring at the freaking. Oh, the Milan song that went with that. <laughs> I bet she looks up to her mom. <laughs> 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 no, my cousin, because she made me a promise and then went back on the promise, and I hate when people break. It's the same fucking thing. If money was no was no okay, object, what would you buy? Well, how would you buy something if it was an object? I don't know. I think Can't buy me love. Love. Oh my love. God, your hair. Damn, 
by me. Yeah, too. Damn it, Mia. <laughs> Which which celebrity would you want? Because he's a oh my god, yes, Jim Carrey, he's so fucking awesome. He is, but he's what so is. inspirational. King Lolly is your best friend, so you can always like marry your best friend or something. No, like just because like he's chill and cool and like, dude, imagine being like best friends with King Lolly. What did you dream about last night? <gasps> Let me do your edges, please. That's a weird dream. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Mia. Dude, I freaking slid my edges in that game. I was so proud. I need to take pictures. Out of your family members, who are you closest to? Um, my mom and my cousin on my mom's side. Oh, yeah, and my cousin on my mom's side. What do you do when there's no one else around? Read or sing. Sleep naked! <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yes, look at. Mm, I talk to myself bitch. a lot. Yes! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I talk to myself a lot. I feel like I'm a Chamberlain. Mia, we're trying to do these questionnaires, and you're playing with your hair. Honestly, she's probably gonna delete this video. I'm gonna yeah. kiss we're you. Not even post it. Oh, bitch. <laughs> What's one thing most people it don't know about you? Um, what book has impacted you? What book has impacted you the most? It's gonna be a hard one for her. Holding up the universe. Never mind. I don't um, read books. There's this book called Good Enough. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And it's by this Christian writer. And it's so good. Like, she's so <laughs> empowering. And yeah. Okay. I think I'm losing. <laughs> yeah. if, you were to, if you were to get a, uh, some type of tattoo, what would you choose and why? I'd get an elephant with my mom's birthday underneath it. I'm getting my mom's name across my heart. What do I do about that? I get two roses with my parents' birthday. It didn't say your first tattoo. If you were just getting a tattoo, a smiley face on my How many kids do you want? Wait, how many kids? Do you, see, you want to you have kids that? one day? How many? Yes, three. Yes, two. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Show me your tattoo. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What was the best present you ever received? Who gave it to you and why was it so special? Um, life, my mother, and thank you. <laughs> life, your mother, and thank you? Mm -hmm. What does it say? What's the question? What was the best present you ever received? Who gave it to you and why was it so special? <laughs> my St. Christopher that I got from my priest or whatever you call him mm -hmm. when I was baptized. Um... This light that I'm using to make my YouTube channel. <laughs> what Are you actually going to upload this? What college major are you thinking of choosing and why? I'm going to do interior design because I like their grading. I'm going to be a registered nurse. Yeah, I'm going to be a registered nurse. Me and Juan are going to move into an apartment together in New York. Hopefully, I'm still like friends by then. <laughs> If you want to tell friends, <gasps> funny. If you could only listen to one singer or band for the rest of your life, who would you choose? James Nirvana. Okay. Okay. Singer Christina Aguilera. Band One Direction. Okay, singer Kuko. Band Nirvana. Singer Jesse Ware. We're actually five seconds band, summer. Queen. I like Why Don't We, but I feel like. Queen is weird. One Direction. Dude, no, 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 no. If I, if, you could, if I could choose two bands instead of just a singer, mm -hmm. you you going to have me doing Queens and Nirvana. You ain't going to, no, 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 I ain't going nowhere else. <laughs> What's your mm, go-to dish when you have to make dinner? Macaroni and chicken nuggets. Oh, my God. Lasagna, no. corn, and mashed potatoes. Oh Spaghetti? God. You're making dinner? Yeah. I Spaghetti and shepherd's pie. My mashed potatoes. Became so y'all don't know what shepherd's pie is. We made it today for dinner. What's your earliest childhood memory? It's okay, mine's is kind of scary. I with remember, green beans, and this is the mashed potatoes and cheese. Mm. From like this point on, I remember everything. Oh, almost everything. I have really bad memory. Anyways, I remember waking up in my bed and sitting up and being like, I can't remember anything from the night before. If you had to live in another time period, what would you choose? 80s all the way. Yeah, 80s. Maybe 85. Yeah. I feel like I'd probably go 86 I know. to 85. I would want to live like two years after, no, 
don't know. Take me to the future, bitch. I'm trying to see my husband. Yeah, <laughs> like future. Dude, because well, maybe like, too, I don't want to live. Choice to see my future, I would not. No, I, I don't want to know what's going to happen. I don't want to live in the past because like racism and like. What slavery if you go to your future like, and you're dead? All that stupid shit. You just go. Well, you just go one day in the future. <laughs> in the nineties, there wasn't really that much segregation. From what my parents told me. Please tell me crush? I don't mind you a fucking Emma Chamberlain. Right? You do. Copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my first crush? That that out. My first crush. I'm gonna bleep it. I'm thinking of people, and I'm like, yeah, they're not my first. My first crush, his name was Christian Quintero. My first Christian crush, Quintero. Crush back in Notre Dame. <laughs> Whatever his name is. <laughs> Troy Bolton, man, if we're talking about that. Oh, God. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. I thought it was super cute. And then I grew up, and I was like, God damn. He's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. My first celebrity crush was in... Leonardo DiCaprio from Titanic. Ooh. Fine ass. <laughs> What's your all-time favorite? Mine <laughs> was Tom Cruise from Top Gun. Oh, <laughs> my God. Or Johnny Depp from freaking Oh, Cry Baby. don't do that. Don't do that. Do that, don't do that, don't Whoa. do that. Oh my god, Cry Baby, you guys, that's my favorite movie. Right freaking there. Would you not date like young Johnny Depp? I would I would date old Johnny Depp. He's a little cray cray. That's okay. He's off the deep end. <laughs> no, no, he ain't, he ain't off the deep end. He <laughs> off the 60 foot river. Tom Ford. Tom Ford. Mm. Do you believe in soulmates? Yes, mm. absolutely. I yeah. I believe we have soulmates, but then I also believe that we could love someone more than like once. Like we don't have like one specific. You have like, multiple soulmates. Yeah, that. There's yeah. not you the have, one out there. Yeah, There's not I don't think the man of to make it that hard for you to find the one. Mm -hmm. You know. What if you have like the one, and then you find another the one while you're dating like, the one? What Maybe if that's what the if, one for your doppelganger? What if you're only, like, say you only have one soulmate, what if your soulmate, like, killed themselves or got killed or something? Yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, the so man of like, would not do that to you. <laughs> Unless you did something. Well, you can't sleep, what keeps you up at night? Um, I get, like, really anxious and I have to start moving for some reason. Or I'm overthinking a lot. Yeah. yeah. Worrying about other people and their health and other stuff keeps you up at night. If you were an animal, what would you be? I'd either be a butterfly or a lion. Butterflies aren't animals. Shut the fuck up. You're insects? If I could be a... I'd be a robin. I'd be a freaking lion. I think I'd want to be a panda bear. That'd be awesome. Cause I love my mom. My mom loves panda bears. What, what has your hardest goodbye in life been so far? Um, my hardest there, goodbye? There was one time I was best friends and dated this guy for like, what, three years? Third, third through six? Yeah, that's about three years. Yeah, what was the question again? What was your hardest goodbye in life been so far? And yeah, so I've known him for like three to four years and um, completely broke my heart. <laughs> and I had to let him go. Although I was still obsessed with him until freshman year, but yeah. Mm, my hardest goodbye was to old habits. <laughs> I haven't had to I think my hardest. Yeah. I'm not an ex-sister. No, I am an ex-sister. Yeah, I slept my bed crying for two weeks. I kind of got people in sister. Like, I was really interesting. She was like my sister. Like, her family was my family. Like, we were, like, I was so close with her family and stuff that I still text her sister. are you happy that you burn uh, my my whole San Antonio life what time is it 147 that's it oh my god is it really
How long are we planning to stay up? Uh, what makes you feel unstoppable? Uh, I'm sipping uh, uh. The people I'm around. Yeah, what makes you feel what? What makes you feel unstoppable? Unstoppable. Is it easy for you kissy, to show, kissy noise. Is it easy for you to show love to show yourself love or speak kindly of yourself? No. Oh, no. no. Not easy. Unless but I'm talking to someone that decided to drop me for no reason, yeah. More questions. What do you lie the most about? How I feel. Yeah. I don't tell, I don't like to show people how I feel. Okay, why am I getting so personal with this shit? What? If I want to cry, I'll sit there and I'll suck it in. I'll just... Yeah, how I feel. I don't like to cry in front of people. Yeah. It makes me feel like... I don't lie about... It makes me feel like other people look at it as if I want attention. And I'm just like, nah, he's crying over here. Oh, yeah, about my exterior emotions. Yeah. Like, I won't even tell someone if I'm mad about something. Uh, would you be with someone who doesn't have the same beliefs as you? Honestly, I don't know. Depends on the I beliefs. don't mm-hmm. care. Yeah, no. Mm. Like, the if whole... they don't believe in, like, having kids or moving around, you know? Yeah. Then I would be a deal breaker. Why mm-hmm. did my voice just change? I don't know. Do you usually follow your heart or your head? My head. My head. I don't think about things before I do them. <laughs> it depends for me. Mm-hmm. I either don't think with my heart or my head. So I just go through vice versa. Oh my god, bitch. What are you staring at? If you had to choose to put first, who would you put? Your family or your friends? My mm-hmm. family. I can't live without them. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. What did your last relationship mm-hmm. teach you? Absolutely nothing. Oh, actually, to be more honest, yeah. Don't date in sixth grade. Don't date in sixth grade. So, don't do long distance if you're never going to see each other. Do you prefer dating just one person and seeing where it goes, or dating multiple people until you make your decision? Dating the first person. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like when other people date, they just date to, like, have fun with it. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's that one little tiny 10% of people that date for something to actually happen. Yeah. Because some people date to just you. Let's do it. It's high school. Yeah. But some people we'll are like, just okay, just well, let's that, just for like label. let's make this something. Mm-hmm. Like if they're if they're dating long enough to the point where they get married, high school sweetheart. What is the best advice you've ever been given? Fuck them. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Take care of yourself before you try and take care of others, even though I don't follow it. I'm trying. <laughs> oh my god, I when I was younger, I, I, would, like, I would literally care, care about everyone else's happiness except for mine. Like, I would try and make someone super, super happy before I made myself happy. Mm-hmm. Like, I would make them happy in the process, I would be making myself, like, upset. Did you ever judge someone for the dark secrets that they told you? No. The what? Did you ever judge someone for the dark secrets that they told you? No. Mm, if you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Um, teleportation. Healing power. Oh, teleportation. <laughs> I said it like all my blanket. I'm so tired. If you had healing powers, you could heal that. Feel every single person that has cancer and let their families have a little bit longer with them. What is your favorite romantic moment and why? Like, personal romantic moment or like in a book or a movie? Mm-hmm. Just as what was your favorite romantic moment and why? Cry baby when I... Okay, well, I didn't make an outro, so like and subscribe.